really fun and me and my friend Sarah went to the Met. So here is a clip from that when we went to the Egyptian tomb. What? I already am. I'm taking it. Say hi. That's Sarah, guys. <laughs> no, I'm not going to stop. We can go in, I'm assuming. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Is it Echo? I'm in the tomb. Okay, I officially don't like taking video in public. It's a sphinx! Um, so then we went over to another section and we saw some more Egyptian stuff. Look, it's a mummy! Are you taking video again? Yeah. Here's my best friend. <gasps> Look, it's Sarah's best friend. <laughs> Sarah, do these smell good? It smells absolutely atrocious in here. <laughs> so then we decided, um, we also saw the Greek exhibit, which was cool. I didn't take any videos because they had like high security on it, and like I took a flash picture by accident and I got yelled at. So no videos from the Greek section. Um, I'm going, I went because if I went to the Greek section and I'm going to write about it, um, I get extra credit. So that was fun. And Sarah likes the Egyptian stuff, so that's why we went over there. Then, of course, we're in the city. We had to go to the one, the only, Times Square and uh, see what I saw. Look, it's wicked! Okay, this is a crime right here. Like, this is not acceptable. Eugene O'Neill! And what's under it? Like what the hell? That should say Spring Awakening. Not cool. It's the new Nederlander. Not cool, man. So that was my little fun adventure in the city. Um, it was really depressing to see the Eugene O'Neill converted to something other than Spring Awakening, but just because. I loved it at Spring Awakening and so much. Um, John Gallagher Jr., who was the original Morris at Spring Awakening, and he won a Tony for Best Actor in a Musical, Best Supporting Actor? Best, I think it was Best Supporting Actor in a Musical. He was on SVU, not yesterday, but like the week before, and amazing. Um, I put a link in the sidebar to show you. Also, um, the battery's down. It's just about to start a new um, season of their show, and if you don't know, it was created by a Umish alum. His name is Jake Wilson. He is so cute. This is going to be a response to the season two trailer. So if you don't watch the Batteries Down, you should because it's amazing. And Jake, fellow Batteries Down actors, um, this is our wonderful channel. It's all about theater um, because we love it. And frankly, I know that I love you guys and I can't wait for the new season to start. It's going to be epic. Uh, especially since Jake said that the guy who wrote um, High School Musical and High School Musical 2 is gonna be, was working on it, which is freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, we're very proud. So yay, battery's down. Also, that link's in the sidebar. Check that out. Um, what else do I have? I have my trusty little notebook because I cannot remember anything. Um, Ashley, um, oh, you didn't bore me. I enjoy your video very much. Um, and I love your text messages. I do. Girls, don't be afraid to text me. I, I enjoy them. Actually, and I have pretty funny conversations, actually. Um, Meg, um, rent is fluent. Um, I found videos from when I saw the Jonas Brothers Studio movie, so I think that might have to come up again in the next couple of weeks, so be expecting it. I can't believe I forgot to put it in. Um, oh, Emily, I want your TikTok water bottle from Wayne. That's really cool. I know they don't sell that at the Broadway show. At least they didn't when I saw it four years ago. But 
I have to go again and I want one. Um, Sierra, I already responded to. And here I'm um, challenge. My challenge is uh, I just thought of it and now I forgot it. Oh, my challenge is that you have to use an instrument in your video next week. One. Emily, that's you. You have to use a musical instrument. This is my bathroom. It's really small. That's my door. That's my shower. That's my sink. Look, I can aim it there. And I can talk like this. Oh, it's actually really weird to talk like this because I don't know where to look. As a special treat next week, I will be talking about the wonderful subject of Twilight versus Harry Potter. So until next week, Ashley, I'll see you tomorrow.